Philip, mm. see if the baby needs changing. Mm. Okay. Precious little angel. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm going to be taking you home very soon. Tell me about it. I don't remember. Mm, how long was I out? Will you just... Will you tell me what's on your mind, please? You've been like this ever since you saw Lucia. You said that she said some surprising things and then you just clammed up. Whatever it is, it's not leaving you alone, so please... She told me that Alan wanted to leave the family when he was a young man. And not just because of Brandon, although that would certainly have been reason enough, but because he wanted a different life. That's hard to believe. Yeah. I thought the suit was painted on at birth. He's so good at the whole corporate titan of industry. Yeah. But apparently there was a time where he wanted something else had his chance to get away. But he blew it. Well, if that's true, then that's sad. But maybe Alan did exactly what he wanted to do, and it just all turned out wrong because of who he is. Mm. You're not your father, Philip. Mm. Not yet, maybe. Why do I think I have to fight him? Why, why now? I've been trying to get away for years. Why, why, now when he wants me to go, why won't I go? Is it just to spite him? No, maybe you're just, you know he'll hound you until you do come back. When I walked away a couple of months ago, I meant it. And even as I was getting sucked back in, I still meant for it to be temporary. You also told me that it, it was a dream of yours to run that company your way. And you enjoyed it, tell the truth. I do enjoy it. I do. There are, there are good things about it. It feels good to clean that place up. And there are real possibilities there. You shouldn't feel guilty about wanting what you want. Yeah. It's knowing what I want. That's the tricky part. You know what, I... I, ha I have to go. Um, can we talk about this later? Yeah, sure. What's up? I just business at the Beacon. I'll be back soon, okay? Mm, yeah, okay. okay. You look like hell. Oh, thanks, pal. It's been hours getting ready. No, seriously. You look like hell. I just haven't been sleeping very much. I conked out on the couch a little while ago. I had this, this really weird dream. Jennifer Lopez, pool table, and a bottle of tequila. Hmm. Mm. You're weird, you know that? Yeah, Give I mean, listen. No, 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 no. What? Hey. What? Tell me about the drink. No, it's nothing. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I had this dream that uh, Olivia's baby was mine, but that Alan was here trying to take it because he, he still thought that it was his. That is a possibility. You know that. Oh, I know it. Livy doesn't seem to. Nor does she seem interested in finding out. But, uh, you need to know, right? Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Uh-oh, what did you do? 
she had the amnio scheduled anyway, so I just ordered another test. Which she expressly asked not to have done, Well, right? you know what? If I'm the father of this child, then I have rights, okay? Maybe I shouldn't have gone behind her back, but I need to be prepared. There was a guy over at Cedars. I don't want to know. I don't want to know the guy's name. Don't tell me. Also, I'm a jerk. No, the question is, what happens if it is Alan's baby? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But I can tell you one thing, whether it's his or it's mine, when the time is right. You're going to tell the child? Yeah. Olivia's going to love that one. I don't care, Rick. I'm not going to lie to this kid the way I was lied to. And the way Gus was lied to. So this is about you needing to know it's about the child, protecting the child, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. It's a child, Rick. You don't, you don't think at the very least a child has the right to know who its real parents are? Are you sure this is not about you and Olivia, too? If I find out that the baby is not mine, then I'm I'm just going to leave Olivia. Is that what you think? No, I'm not saying that exactly. No, not exactly, but that's what you think. You think that I, I feel trapped or something like that, right? No, I, I didn't I didn't say that exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here because I want to be, okay? I care about Olivia. What? <sighs> Come on, buddy care about, Philip? Come on. I mean, I, I, I care about the Cubs. I care about whether or not the price of gas is going up. I care about whether or not you're going to pick up the check at the end of the night. The question is, do you love Olivia? Yeah, sure. Another great word. You want some gum? Sure. Oh, well, what do you want, a sonnet? I said sure. Sure. Look. Look, yeah, we've had some rough times, but things are fine with us now. Oh, so you, you're, you're okay with the fact that Olivia slept with Alan this last time, right? I didn't say that. No, I will never be okay with that. But I'm over it, all right? I'm over it. Alan manipulated that, all right? The same way he manipulated her getting pregnant. If he hadn't done that, maybe you and Olivia wouldn't be together right now. Now, that's, no, that's uh -huh. not true. Yeah, are you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay? Is that good enough for you? I want to be with her. Great. Hi. Hey. Hey. You're oh. not leaving. I thought the Cubs were playing. If you guys want to... It's between innings. Between, yeah, Mel and I are supposed to get together, so... I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you. Sure. So does he hate me, or did I interrupt something important? Uh, no, I, um, I, I, he did say something about uh, Mel was going to be expecting it. Um, so how'd your meeting go? Did you get uh, everything taken care of? Yeah, everything's fine. Good. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, yeah. Sure. You're never going to get to sleep. You're too tense. Actually, no, that's okay. You don't, you don't have to do I that. want to. It's okay. Mm. See? <laughs> it's a big knot. Mm. Mm. Hang on. Yeah. Mr. Spaulding, it's Gary from the lab. Yes. I'll have the results on Mrs. Spencer's amnio tomorrow. I'll meet you at 10 a.m. I'll be there. By tomorrow morning, you'll know who the baby's father is. Who is that? 